Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Wyatt Leonard, and we're here at Vertilex Sound taking a look at the MXR Double Double. Let's just do a quick rundown of the controls on the Double Double. Uh, to start it off, we got the level and the drive control, pretty self explanatory. Then you got the treble and bass control, which I would say are voiced almost perfectly. The treble is right at the bite of the guitar, and the bass is right at the thump. With this simple control set, you can dial it in at no matter what your gain setting is, no matter what amp you're running to no matter what guitar you're playing, or even what room you're in. The thing that makes this pedal the most interesting, on the other hand, is probably the gain switch. In the low mode, it's like a tube screamer, and in the high mode, it's an OCD. So in the low position, it's more mid-pushed, and in the high position, it's a little crisper, with a little bit of a mid-dip. That pretty much does it for the pedal, so let's just go listen to it some more. Like I mentioned earlier, in the low mode it's a tube screamer, and in the high mode it's an OCD. To be completely honest, I wasn't that excited to review this pedal, mainly because the tube screamer and the OCD are two of my least favorite overdrives, but something about the way they voiced this pedal, I'm just falling in love with it. Those pedals have a drive through which works really well if you're playing them into a crunch of amp, but I primarily play with clean amps. Whenever you have that clean signal going through, it always sounds like the overdrive is just kind of sitting on top there, it doesn't sound that deep or have that much dimension and it's kind of distracting to me. It does sound like there's a little bit of a dry through on this pedal still, but either they didn't make it a 50-50 split or they filtered it a little bit. But between that gain switch, this pedal covers a ton of sonic territory. It's pretty affordable, so it'd make a great first overdrive pedal, but I just think it sounds so well that it's even a great fit for a veteran player. One thing I will point out is that in my testing, this pedal is really sensitive to different pickups and not necessarily for the best. I think it works really well with humbucker guitars, it works pretty well with P90s, but when I tried it out with a Strat or a Tele, it felt a little flat for me. So if you have a guitar with lower output pickups, I would recommend trying this before you buy it just to make sure it feels right to you. But if you're on humbucker guitars, I really think this pedal's pretty hard to beat. But at the end of the day, that is just my opinion, so if you love it or you hate it, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll catch you there. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.